Good morning, good morning, happy Thursday. We are crafting with Sonia, and we're switching it up a little bit. Um, some of the craft projects we've been doing in the past, um, by the time you guys are getting to Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby, some of those supplies are not available, and you're having to go online. And I know sometimes you wanna to get to crafting right away. So um, maybe once a week, we're going to be doing one of our own designs, where you can order from us, um, and then we'll play around with the other one. So, um, Mindy designed this cute little bunny, and this is what we're going to make today. And she actually put in your hand crafting design at the Rustic Patch on the back. And this is a kit that you can buy. And we will put the link um, at the end of this video where you can order this online, or you can stop in the store today and grab it. So when you get, it's just the wood kit, that is it. Um, so when you come in, this is your little bunny, and then these all the little pieces that you're going to get, and it's $23. So, I think Mindy said she got six of them cut. Um, she's leaving town for the weekend, so if we by chance sell all six today, we will get you on a list, and as soon as she's back in town, um, she will get those made for you. So, it is super cute, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to make it. But the... The things that you're going to need when you get this kit, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry, you are also going to get anything we make with any of our wood kits. You're going to get the bow or like this, you get a little bit of excelsior and a little bit of a bow. So any of the embellishments, you're going to get included in your kit when it comes to the things you're going to need to go buy is your paint colors. You may want brown ears instead of pink ears. You may want a brown nose instead of a pink nose. So you can go get your paints that you want and um, design it your way because you may not want a paint like mine. But this is the little guy we're going to make and so I'm just going to set him right over here and um, you're going to need some blue tape to hold your little pieces down. And I sent this link the other day and this is Kill Sealing Dark Wax and we're going to put that right along the edges and again I will attach this to the link underneath this slide video. So you can go to Amazon in my Amazon cart and you can purchase this yourself. The other thing that is like the best thing are these adorable sponges. And they are actually makeup sponges. Um, going to the store and buying makeup sponges, they're very expensive, but you can buy this whole bag of 100 of them. And you're going to find out as we do crafts, you're going to use a lot of these. And the other thing that I did yesterday at home or at the store is I just use the edge of this for just a little bit and then I clip this end off and I still have this sponge yet to use. So just because you use it once, it's not absorbed all the way in there if you're just going to use like a little bit of black. I will show you in a little bit and that's going to be it. And we've already showed you guys the Rapid Fuse and this is what you can buy at Walmart or Menards. And you know what? I will find out if we can get this on Amazon Prime. So if you're going to shop everything on Amazon, I might as well give you the link to get this. So I will look this up today. Um, the Excelsior, you're not going to have to worry about going to buy because you're going to get that with your bunny. And you're going to get your little tie. Okay, that's it. And of course your glue gun to glue your Excelsior and your little bow on, which you already have your glue gun. And you've already got your dryer if you need to dry it really quick to get it done fast. So let's go to town. So I've got my bunny. And hopefully I have enough paintbrushes because I just have a few paintbrushes here, but at the store I've got lots of paintbrushes. So the bunny is going to be sand gray. I like my bunnies a little bit grubby. And then inside of this, I will put your little bag, I will put another bag inside of this bag for your Excelsior and your little knot bow. So these are all your little pieces. So you've got your carrot with your hands and you've got your ears, and what Mindy did, she went ahead and put left, and she put right on the back of these, so you know to match them up, okay? So there's your feet, and here's your ears, and you'll know exactly which ears is what. And then she put an X on the back of these, so you know these are the back of your eyes and the back of your nose. So you're gonna go ahead, and this is where you're gonna need that blue tape for, so they don't move on you. It is not gonna take very much paint, or tape. So just tape that down off to the side. Just curl one in and curl the other. And then just go ahead and set those on there. Now if you want, you can just set them right down like they're gonna go on your piece and put your nose there. Simple, that's it. So if you want to, 
and I totally forgot the black paint. So he's not going to get black eyes because I have a big squeeze bottle. Way to go, Sonia. Oh, let's stain his eyes. There you go. See, this is what happens when you don't have all your supplies. And I don't have any black backup black paint. So there you go. Okay. Oh, this is going to be fine. If you don't want black eyes, which this actually may work out just fine, go ahead and stain them. Easy cheesy. Okay. So we're going to go ahead, and this is what I'm talking about. So here, we've just stained that edge. See, everything happens for a reason. See? Just cut that on off, and then you still have plenty to do. Okay. So if you want to, go ahead and take that pink. And we'll go ahead and let's just see what this does. I did use it with a paintbrush the other day. So just go ahead and use that sponge. Also, this kind of helps protect from you getting any paint on the sides. And you can just use this instead of a paintbrush. And you're going to do two coats. Look at this. Ha, ha, ha. Sonny forgot the black paint. I fixed that, didn't I? Okay, and then just take that and then just dab, just dab. That's all it takes for its nose. And then again, you could just go right along. The air in the basement right now is in pretty good shape because it's drying really fast. And this is also another way to control how much paint you're using. If you are one that don't realize you get that much paint on your paintbrush, this is a great, great way. So you're definitely gonna wanna buy these. And you're going to want to buy this if you haven't ordered this already, because you're going to absolutely love it. Okay, well, but let's put the lid on, because we don't want that to dry out. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to our sand gray, and you're just going to load up your brush. And I always like to start at the top of my wood piece and bring it down. And you may cover everything. So Minnie has this little indention on the wood so you guys know where those eyes and that nose needs to go and when you do it and you remember you want a thin coat less is better always remember that less is better when you're painting any piece of wood and I always put just a few just a little bit of paint here and there because again it depends on how your air quality is, it may dry out really fast, and you do not want to paint with clumpy paint. Okay. Loving this new bunny. And, um, I don't know, maybe next week we'll do a carrot. And there is no hanger on this. This is something that you could just set up against anywhere. If you have a big vase, if you have a fireplace. And if you wanted to do it as a hanger, just go ahead and go grab a drill and drill some little holes. And find some wire or twine. We already have the twine. If you don't have wire, just make sure your holes are big enough to hold your twine. And then you can just go ahead and go back again. My paintbrush is already filled enough here and there to just go that second coat. Okay. If you like this shirt I'm wearing, this is the shirt we have at the store. So you can go on our website and you can order this shirt. It's fine, I'm fine, everything is fine. There are days where, you know, sometimes you just need to wear this shirt. Not for saying this is the day, but. I think I'm going to start wearing shirts that when I do my live videos so you guys know some of the shirts. If you're not able to be at the Rusty Patch in Kearney, Nebraska, and you're not familiar with our website, um, we have a great line of graphic tees, and you, like I said, you can go to our website. We have our gourmet foods on our website. You can order my door hangers on our website. We don't have anything spring on there right now. It just takes a lot of time, and I'm not saying that's an excuse. Um, we just, the spring is in, we just don't have it online. But if you see any of our live videos that we do, 
please know that we do mail out so we can get these things to your door. And that way then you can decorate and make your home super cozy from the rustic patch. Okay, there's one footsies. And here is the other footsies. And my brush is wanting to let these little bristles out. And that happens, especially when they're new brushes. So don't break out, just go ahead and let them dry and then they'll rub right off. Okay. Our bunny is looking fantastic. He's so cute. And again, you can paint him white, you can paint him brown, you can paint him gray, whatever color is your favorite. And if you wanted to, you could probably paint this um, whole thing with a sponge if you want to. Okay, so there is that. Now we need to go ahead and paint his hands. So you're gonna get a small paintbrush right here and you're gonna just get his hands, I'm gonna set him up here. So again, you're gonna take one of your smaller paintbrushes and you're going to line that very carefully. Again, this is a bunny that you are, if you're just hopping on, I would love to know where you guys are from. I am located in Kearney, Nebraska. We're right smack dab in the middle of the state. And this is a kit the wood kit that you can get from us. And then when you, you'll have to go get your paints and your paint brushes. Like I said, if you've been following me long enough, you know that you've already bought your paint brushes. And I will find some paint brushes that are really compatible with what I've purchased at Hobby Lobby and I will also attach that so you guys know which paint brushes, because there's a lot of paint brushes out there. I would say some are definitely better than others. And they all have their purpose. So just remember that. Okay, so there's his hands. They are painted, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this really quick. And we got the two coats on there, so that is done. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna get that orange. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna paint that orange there. Again, you're going to take from the top up where your carrot top is and you're going to go right along that edge. And if this, again, your brushes that you like size wise is different, maybe different than your friend when you're doing a craft together. Everybody's got their own brushes that they like, but I will make sure to show you. And again, any brush will work. You just gotta know the right technique on how to make the brushes move for you. And that's just practice. Practice, 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 girls. Okay, our carrot is looking great. And just a little bit more right here. And the orange that I'm using is, is um, burnt umber. And I will comment also whatever colors that I use in here for you guys if you like these colors and if you don't have these colors in your craft closet and you want to go buy them today, go for it. I will let you know Americana paints are actually 97 cents a bottle at Hobby Lobby. And um, they are as I said the other day, they are my favorite paints. They are my favorites. And the screen that we're using is celery green. And you're just going to find a small paintbrush for that also. And I've done two coats on the orange. And if you like it more iridescent where you don't like the wood to be completely covered, that's totally up to you because we're going to put this wax over it. And if you want your bunny to be really grubby, like very primitive, the more wax is well. Well, I hope you guys are liking the bunny so far. Like I said, he will be available. And when I get to the store, I will put 
the Excelsior and your little twist in another little bag inside. That way it's all ready for you to come pick up. $23 for the set. You want to just dry that really good. Okay. So now when it comes to the wax part, put these over here. And I don't, yeah, I do need this one. You're going to find a little brush just to go along the lines here. And it's like shoe polish, but it's not as thick as shoe polish. You know, when your dad used to polish his shoes and you would like play with it because you didn't know what it was. And it's, and you're, what you're going to do is you're just going to go right along that edge where those two meet to kind of give it just a little grubby. And then you just keep going along. And if you want them sparkly, add some glitter at the end, go for it. Okay? And then what you're going to do is actually this works better, but if you want to use your sponge, you may use your sponge. Just a little bit, and I guess to me, if you use your finger, you have a little bit more of a control, and you kind of know what you got on your hand, versus putting it on the sponge. And you can make this scrubby, and then go on the outer perimeter, and always turn it around if you feel like you need a little bit more control of your wax. Is this not adorable? So there's his hands. I got a little bit of paint, a little bit of green paint. I was going a little bit too fast, my fault. And then you're going to go ahead and just take that again and you're going to go right along the edges of his ears. And let me tell you, this wax, I think it was $23. But it's going to last a long time because this is definitely a little bit goes a long ways. Especially if you're not using a sponge where it's going to absorb some of that. Okay. And then you're just going to take your finger and you're going to go around his foot. you guys are really enjoying this different outlook that we are bringing to you for our DIYs. So I went to Dollar I went to Dollar Tree yesterday just to see if there were some other new things and I really think to go to Dollar Tree it's kind of a how do I say this? It's overpicked so fast that you like have to be there on a certain day when you know stocks coming. How about that? And not all of you have a Dollar General around you either. Um, everybody's got a Hobby Lobby. And again, I know with our Hobby Lobby in town, they only have so many supplies also. And bless our heart, they work hard there. Shelly's a sweetie in the craft department. So if you were one help for paints, um, that's her paint department. Um, the paint brushes that I get, I always get them in the art department. And there are some that you can buy right in there in the paint department too. But I will also go and I will see what, what I have and show you guys. Okay. I think that's looking pretty good. And you can also take this all the way through if you want to and really, really make him grubby. All depends how you like your items. If you like it really primitive, then just go to town and just grub him up. Always make sure you put the lid on it because you definitely do not want to let it dry out because that will make you very sad. Okay, let's start assembling our bunny. So you're going to put a little bit of this fancy glue. And again, remember, this glue dries really fast. 
So you want to make sure that you get, and it doesn't really take a lot, and you're just going to set those over those little lines where Mindy has cut that on there for you so you know you're right in the middle of his ear. There's one ear. There's two. Okay, and then I did not grubby his nose. We don't need to do his eyes because we stained his eyes. And if I don't like this, I'll just go to the store and I will, I'll paint his eyes black. And then grubby up his nose just a little bit. And if you think you've got too much, just wipe it off before you put it on there. And I am using, um, you can use paper towels. This is the puppy pad for um, training your puppy at home. And these are nice because you can just throw them away. And if you, by chance, would have a paint spill or anything, you've got the protective coat on the back that it won't seep through and make a mess. Okay, there's one eye. There's another eye. Hope they've got enough glue on there. You can wiggle around just a little bit, but before you get too crazy, just know where you put your, um, how far you place your paint on there. And I forgot to turn the heater off. Sorry guys. I was running behind, so I was trying to hoping it down here and I didn't even realize my time frame. So again, sorry for my five minute tardiness. Okay, so we've got right. So we're gonna put right down here. And when you're going to put the, when you're um, gluing and holding these, I would say glue and just kind of rub your finger around to make sure that you've got that right over that cutout so it doesn't run over. And then you're going to go do the same thing on the left foot and rub that finger so you know that it is right over where it needs to be because if you push off, it will slide and then you're not going to be happy because once this glue is set, it is so set. Okay, right and left. Ear, ear, nose, and our cute little button heart nose. Now we're going to go ahead and take this, and you're just going to take some glue. You're going to rub it all along the sides, and then you're going to go ahead and place that right in the middle. And when you set that in there, you want to make sure it's right flush to the bottom of the bunny, and then. He is right, his button nose is right in the center of that carrot. Okay. And my nose has moved. And sometimes you can get too much glue, which, guess what? I got too much glue on his nose. So he's not setting up as fast as I thought. Again. Not always more is better. How about that? Okay, so now let's go ahead and get a little bit of Excelsior and this does not take very much. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna roll it and then we're gonna glue it. And if I give you too much, just dispose of the rest because you're not gonna need all of that. And then you're just gonna set it right here move across and then you're going to pull that so you got this nice bundle of excelsior green right there okay and then that little tie i did try to make a tag and the tag was just too overpowering for the bunny so i did play around with some couple ideas and a little this little tie was actually just enough to go on excelsior to complete he needed something on there, but like I said, it was no bueno what I was trying to do. Okay, so that is your bunny. He is complete. He is done. Here is your bunny with your stained eyes, and here is your bunny with your black eyes. And again, sorry I forgot the black, but it shows you a difference. Again, if you like it, I guess let me know. Do you like it with the brown eyes or do you like it with the black eyes? So he is done and he's ready to complete. And if you are, the other thing you can do with this one, if you are a grapevine lover, 
um, and you are, or you have a spring um, wreath that's got flowers on it, you can set him in there. I would probably just drill a little bit of holes and I will just wire him in your um, wreath. You can put him on your counter, you can put him on your fireplace, put a little grass underneath of them or some little eggs and you have your bunny. And again, these are super cute, super easy. Um, the other thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is join our text family. It kind of lets you guys know, it's one text a day and let you know if we're doing a, a special at the store, if we're going, when we're gonna go live, um, we can put that out there. It will not let you know on Monday and Thursday mornings. It will not send a text out this early in the morning. So maybe we'll send you another text at nighttime to say, hey, just don't forget, Sonny's going live on Monday morning or Thursday morning. So stay tuned for, for that or something on those terms. But I know that um, Emily and Sam were working with our texting supplier and they were having a few hiccups. So bear with us, we will be back up and running. It hasn't been going for about a week and a half and they have you know technology and updating. I think they were trying to fix something, maybe and that was what I want to use. Um, um, it's not coming to me. Trying to update it to like make it more friendly. I don't know. But it just, it hasn't been working, so it's very frustrating. So we will send you the um, attachments for our Amazon for the kills because you cannot buy this anywhere in Carney. I tried. It is not available in Carney, only online. And the Excelsior. You can get it online or you can get a Hobby Lobby. I don't think they have it at, Hob at Walmart. But these supplies, you can go to our website and you can order these. We can ship them out today or we can um, just stop in the store and pick them up. Okay, guys, that is it. Hope you enjoyed our new craft. We are going to be doing more of these. That way then your stock does not run out. And it also says handcraft and design at the Rustic Patch, which our heart goes out to every little piece that we make every little piece that we buy to um, embellish your home. So, you guys, um, go to our YouTube channel, subscribe. We are going to start hopefully next week. These are just gonna be on here for the time being, and then you can watch our live videos there. And when you order our kit, you will get this video included in your email as a thank you, so you can have step-by-step -step just in your mailbox. Okay, guys, talk to you later, bye. Okay, guys, I am going to move this out like I usually do because there's no other way. I need to come in and get one. Okay, Sarah, I can put one on your name on one. Super cute, Tammy says. I might have to get one that you have completed. Tammy, you know what? There's one right here, and his name, your name, will be on him. Thanks, Ronnie, for the stars. Ronnie, get yours ordered. And you guys, I can't wait. Thank you for the stars. We got 250 stars. Woo woo! Love stars, love stars. Okay, guys, have a great day and happy Thursday to you all.